these two cells I left in the freezer overnight. Um, this is the glue cell, salt substitute, Epsom salt, Elmer's glue, copper, magnesium, this electrodes. And this is the um, latest cell, this is the Alm Borax 20 Mule Team 1. And salt substitute, heat it on the oven and let the stick the magnesium and copper electrodes in it. And the theory behind this, put in the freezer, is that water, when cooled down to below freezing, will expand. So I was hoping to see if water contained inside the cell would expand the cell to make it brittle and break in part in two or three pieces. That's what I was hoping for. Um, I don't see that happening. But what really shook my shook me is that the water crystal I made when it crystallized into a hardened form when it's frozen didn't produce any voltage, barely any voltage. And from my idea of thinking is that the cooler these cells got, the less voltages they produce. Um, that theory kind of held true for this one, the glue cell. Show you guys the voltages on this one. I don't know, well, kind of held true. 1.476 voltages. I mean, I just took these things out, so they even haven't been out for no more than 30 seconds. Maybe a minute or two. Hook this one up, the... I mean, it's... it's that's, that's just odd. It's just... It's maintaining its voltages, it's not going up higher. I don't know, maybe the um, freezing unit helped to solidify it more, but I don't know. I was expecting when I put these in the freezer overnight to expand. Like this cell. This cell was distilled water, and I put it in the freezer with these guys, and this water expanded. You can see it beveled right there by expanding. Kind of odd, I know. Um, but it did, it expanded. Well, when water gets below freezing point, it expands. And usually in like concrete and asphalt, when water gets in those cracks, it expands when it gets cold. And that's why you get potholes. And I was expecting the same effect from these. But the cells did not expand, nor did they crack. And this thing's still going up. I mean, these cells right here, this, this particular cell, has usually only produced no more than 1.5 volts. And now, for some odd reason, it's up higher, so I don't know. Maybe putting these cells in the freezer overnight might help to make them a little bit better. So, accidental discovery: putting these things in the freezer could help you uh, protect them, maybe make them even better than what they really are. But this is so very odd. I was expecting it to crack, bust. Because when water is in the cell, or when water is there, it will expand, and it should have cracked the cells, but it didn't. And also, what I found interesting is that I always thought these cells were temperature dependent. The harder they got, the more voltages they got. Um, but I guess even when they're cold, they start pumping out more voltages too, especially this one. This one, not so much glue cell. Yeah. But all the other cells, I knew this cell probably wouldn't have cracked as much, but I was expecting this one to crack. Because it's mostly made of glue. I mean water. But it didn't. I, I'm, I'm stunned. And I wasn't expecting to, to be uh, producing more voltages either. So I'm very stumped right now.